Welcome back artists. In this video, I'm going to do a pet portrait of Winston. Here's Winston. Here's a photograph of him. Winston is this handsome Jack Russell Terrier that is owned by my friend Stephanie. Using this photograph as a reference, you see he's flat across the top of his snout, roughly round head, and by virtue of all the hair on his face, great big uh, long hairs on the side, his two collars, and a little bit of his chest. So I'm going to use that for a reference. So let's get started. I'm going to use my pen so that you can see what I'm doing, but you use a pencil so that you can erase the lines that you don't want at the end of it all. Well, let's see, we'll start with the, his face. It's about like this. And his nose. His eyes come up. He's got some hair up here. Comes down like so, this hair. He's got his handsome eye right in here, great big eye. I'm sort of covered by all the hair in his face. And here's his ear. He's got it slightly raised there a little bit, listening for whatever sounds he can hear. Take a moment to better define our eye. Likewise, our nose. And then he's got all this hair hanging down off the front of his face here. Just for reference point, this is all the brownish areas. His ear is dark. He's got two collars on him. He's got this, this top one. The hair hangs over it. And then he's got this secondary one that There's his front leg. Okay, he's brown here. A 
just for a little context, I'll put in just the hint of a window like you have we like we have in the reference photo. All right, there we go. There he is, sketched in. Now let's come in and put in some color, give him some color. Watercolors would traditionally work from light to darks. You can start with any light color, probably the white areas. Now for white, because we have the white of the paper, I still have to show him looking three-dimensional, so I have to be able to darken him somewhat. And I traditionally use a very light blue. This is cerulean blue. Actually, it's sky blue, I should say, which is a cheap Joe's color that I absolutely love. It's very close to cerulean. It's the functional equivalent of it. All right. White through here. And a little bit of cobalt just to help vary my blue a little bit. Okay, let's get the, the browns here. This is raw sienna. Whenever you're doing fur or hair like this, move your brush in the direction the hair grows, like I'm doing here. Comes around his eyes. And he's got some areas a little darker than others, especially here where it's recessed around his eyes. Okay, now his darker ear. Spend a little bit of time just trying to be accurate with the eye and nose, especially the eye, because that's where we see the character of the animal so much as an expression with his eyes. So there's a little bit of Prussian blue that I'm using over the top of the raw sienna and quinacridone burnt orange. Now his colors are dark, so I'll... I have gold in them, but I'm, I mean some shiny metal parts on them, but I'm just going to block them in here quickly. The background I'm just going to do very simply, just enough to give it context here. He's looking over the back of a couch. This would be the wall behind him. A little bit of light blue just for some context in the window. Okay, now I'm going to strengthen a little bit to make him pop a little bit better, contrast him with, against his background. This is really just a matter of adjusting values. So even if I'm a little bit not totally faithful to the photograph, that's okay. I do an impressionistic style painting anyways. And the Impressionistic style allows for greater leeway, a little bit better, a little more meaningful interpretation. I want to be careful going back into the eye and the nose, but I think I need a little bit stronger darks. So if I'm careful, I should be able to do it. Now with the paper mostly dry, I can put in a little bit of dry brush technique, which adds a little texture. All right, there we go. There's Winston looking through his window. I liked it. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.